little video for self-documentation is all so I can look at this in the future and not forget how things are wired. So the light power is coming up to that switch. Going to that guy. That is a GFI. That should have been a double, but it was a single. I ran a line over here to energize that outlet. This GFI is going to be for the garbage disposal. So that's actually on a switch up here. So I couldn't just power from that over to this to make that hot. That's why it comes over from that. Kitchen cabinetry arrived. They were just unloaded off the box truck. Now it's a matter of identifying the pieces and figuring out what goes where. It shows the unit number on the outside on the label. Remove the lid. And it's got this nice plastic wrapped corrugated cardboard around it. So it kind of moisture proof, I guess. Kind of keeps it protected in that respect. This comes off and we're good to go. So I'm gonna finish unwrapping these bad boys and try to figure out what goes where. Okay, it's about an hour later, got things unpacked. Here's what we have. Corn, we're gonna make like a Mexican elote out of the corn. Corn with, uh, I don't know, like sour cream or mayonnaise, little hot sauce like sriracha or red pepper. Um, little lime juice too. Makes it really good. And then over here, I got a bunch of sauteed peppers, red pepper, yellow pepper, uh, mushrooms, onions. And I actually have a couple, four brats in here. And then the liquid you see is dark beer. That should come out real good, some beer brats there. We're gonna throw on some chicken here soon. And then we have a couple of steaks. We're gonna pop on there. It should be real good. I wanna have a refrigerator with the top over it. I should call it a cupboard, that's what it is. A set of drawers and a dishwasher will come in the future. This unit is going to sit above that. We got white for the top units just to kind of brighten it up in here so it's not so dark. We've got a sink base, a 15 inch uh, drawer base, two, what are they, 32 inch, 36 inch units right there. And I did design this so I had plenty of room here when I come in through the door. We're not going to hit anything. We have plenty of room here. That is going to be pushed back. This is the end cap for this side, and hopefully we can fit a broom in there. And, and we have an upright shelving unit here. There we are. And this here is a 48-inch unit with two shelves that go above. We're going to have frosted glass in there so you don't see what's in there. I see a defect right here. That's going back. Look at that. Not exactly sure how or why that happened. There's no markings here. There's one here too, and there's one here. It looks like it's on something to do with the manufacturing process there. I'm gonna finish unpacking this stuff. I believe this is the crown molding. I yep, and I've got a whole lot of cardboard. The back of my truck is full of cardboard. Houston, we have chicken. This is like a southern adobo type spice. It's going to be real good. Might as well put it on everything here. Why not? Starting to get my cabinets in. Picked up a dishwasher today too. Right there. Right now here I am going to screw some cabinet face plates together. Got my level all set up. It's plumb level. Got it shimmed, etc. Kind of wanted to show you this. This is a Bessie uh, knockoff. This is a clamp with felt in it, and it also has this end in there. You get a, you put this on, you put an eighth inch drill bit in that hole and pre-drill, and you flip it up and you run your cabinet screws. So let me show you that, it's pretty neat. You get this fella on, like that, just like that. So we can drill a hole here, make sure that's tight. It snaps into place, I don't know if you could hear that.
found if I don't get that garbage out of there, that sawdust, it'll pack in with the screw head and then the clamp won't come off the way it should. My cabinet screw and driver home. There it is. It makes it real easy. I think these clamps were $30 for a pair shipped. And uh, I think they're worth every penny. Look at that. Yeah, I still got a little sawdust in there, but that's okay. No problem. Anyway, it's working out pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this one next. So here we have some mayo, some sriracha, some garlic. And we're gonna go ahead and hit this corn with Got the probe set in here at 165. After the chicken's ready, we'll throw on a couple steaks. How's that sound? Working on the cabinetry here, and we have serious production run issues. I found nicks on the front. You see that there? And there's another one here on this side. Not sure why I'm not seeing it. it. Might be the light, but it's definitely there. This guy had a big scrape in it that really won't buff out. Um, I'm probably going to cut this out for the oven and microwave, anyways. But I don't know. Paid a lot of money for this stuff. This guy here is gouged right there. This guy is also gouged up here. And let's see, this unit appears okay. This unit, you will see this edge and it's just not finished. It should look like this. And you got light in the camera, let's see. Can you see that one? Yeah, that one's a little light, but that's gonna be hidden. It'll be butted up to another cabinet. All the other cabinets are fine here. I put up a panel only to notice that the panel had issues there and to show that panels all marred up there and last but not least at about 16 inches down on every vanilla covered there is a defect. Now granted, I can hide this by putting this one and this one side by side. However, I feel I shouldn't have to do that for the price I paid for these. And these were not cheap. Here's another one, 16 inches down roughly. And then we come over here. Yep, right there, 16 issues, inches down. It's not the worst. I mean, I could probably make that one work, but I shouldn't have to. And then I have some defects on the painting of some of the trim mold that goes on the top. Paint defects and nicks. And here's an example. Look at that garbage. This is American Woodmark. But I will say the customer support has been phenomenal. Um, I called twice. Uh, the first time I called, I noticed a defect. I said, hey, I got this problem. Okay, we'll ship it out. I didn't have to provide any pictures or jump through any hoops. My understanding is that they can either haul it away or let me uh, get rid of this stuff. So if I'm going to get rid of it, you better bet it's going to end up in my garage or my basement. Here comes the star of the show. Right here. go I'll set the probe medium rare I'm gonna hit these babies once more oh man it's looking delicious oh we're eating good tonight hello one final touch right there wish I had some cojita cheese
Okay, what I ordered ended up with is some sort of chicken cordon bleu type thing. Got ham here with some cheese. I took some veggies. That's actually under the ham. So here it is. So this is the measuring system. Um, absorbs that green dot. Perfect. Yeah, so what are you doing? Trying to hit the squares over there? No, so this is just um, telling my laser to set itself level with oh, gotcha. the laser line I set up. Gotcha, gotcha. So I shoot a plane of three points that make a triangle, left, right, and back. And then it just tells my um, laser how level it is. And then I start shooting. So it makes like a rough template. All right. And so that's okay, what I I'm see. Use to go through and check it. Yeah. So there's the long counter and there's the short one, okay. And then once I get everything confirmed, I design everything 